So in this example, if you guys remember the rules of exponents, um, basically again said x to the m divided by x to the n equals x to the m minus n. So all we simply need to do, guys, is multiply or subtract our powers. So I have 5 eighths minus 1 half, right? Because this can be written as same thing. So now I just need to subtract my powers. So again, I have to have common denominators. The common denominator between 8 and 2 is equal to 8. Since this one already has a common denominator of 8, I'm just going to multiply by a multiplier or a, a fraction that's going to produce the same common denominator. Yes? Question? Yes? Oh, they're wise. You're right. Sorry. Well, the re I was using x because that was the rules of exponents I used x. It doesn't matter what variable you use. I could use p, right? It doesn't matter what the variable is. But so I was writing it in x's, and then I just could, my brain just wanted to rewrite x's again. So I apologize for that. It's still y's. Follow me? Is that what your confusion was? OK. Um, anyways, so therefore, this is going to equal 1 over 8. So I have y to the 1 over 8th power, which if you're going to write this as a radical, is 8 to the y to the first power. OK, I'll accept the fractional exponent, but just look for the questions, see what the answers are. Preferably, we